Hey guys, we're doing a Valentine's Day tonight. We usually don't do a Valentine's Day. We just stay home and cook. But tonight we decided to go to a place called Smashed. Um, it's out in Cyprus. And there's another one that's out in City Center, down south. And what are we making, Jeff? We're making pottery. You can choose from a mug, a plate, a platter, <laughs> or a bowl. We're both gonna make a bowl because we're competitive. We're gonna see who can do the best. Let's go. Oh, there's more things on there than just the pitcher, plate, and bowl. Planter or pot. Lots of options. I love it. Candle holder. Base. Got instructions. Everybody's got their own little station. Oh, look, they're already they're finishing up down there, it looks like. We do have instructions on the back to help you. If there's any point that I'm over helping somebody else, you can glance at those. If you okay. still don't know what you're doing. My job is to help you direct, direct you to make them as safe. And so it'll make it through the process. My name is Kelly. Yeah. Um, even people who have been doing this for decades and decades have had things that blow up or crack. So it does happen, <laughs> but we can reduce that chance to, oh, okay. to next to nothing, usually. We want to make sure that everything has smooth edges on them. Because the glaze is essentially glass. So when it gets on there, oh. it's going to be more like a shard of glass. So when you're washing or something, you could be cutting yourself. We don't want that. So okay. you make sure that we've got smooth edges. You just need to bevel it a little bit. So if you look at most of these, they'll have just a little bit of a beveled edge, not a total line. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Anything that you are adding to your clay, we want to make sure that it's securely attached so that it makes it through the kiln. We'll make your pieces. I'll walk you through the whole process. We've got a decoration station so you can judge it up to what you want it for, just for you and then it'll be here for about 10 to 14 days as we um, fire it twice the first firing will get it to uh, what we call bisque and then the second fire will put the glaze on the clear glaze on it for you we do have colors for options so you don't have to paint it if you don't want to all of those glazes will make it food safe and will make it dishwasher safe oh okay. nice so I need from you to decide what you're making and what size it's going to be right now. Um, we're going to we'll make a cup. The yeah, already no handles, just a thing. They may know what they want, I'm not sure. Um, do you want the I chart think chart? I still want to make a bowl. Mm -hmm. Jeff's going to make a cup. Mm -hmm. Yes, small cup. I think they're going to be a medium bowl. Like that I can eat salad out of. Ramen. So you pay um, your fifteen dollars to you, and then according to how much so this clay one is you use, and we don't have this right now, but that this, adds on um, the beef cell. Sorry, fourteen for the extra small, sixteen for small, twenty-two for three, uh, the medium, thirty for large, and forty-five for extra large. Sutton, S -U -T -T -O -N. You could bring your own drinks. By the way, all the colors. I want a bowl. I don't. I'm, I guess a medium because I want to use it for like ramen and salad. Okay. I'm guessing that I probably need about. Yeah. It's probably a medium. Okay. And then, um, have you chosen a color, or did you get a chance to look um, at these yet? I was looking at. I like. What do you think? It's actually a nice color. Is that one or this one? No, no, this one kind of makes me happier. You want the deal? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, baby. No, it's okay. You want that one for your cup instead? That's a good green. You do. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, That's I know fine. his face. He's That's like, fine. <laughs> I She's got the teal, and he's got the jade. All right. Jeff picked right. this ID. Uh, you have That's the teal. me. Yeah. And then I can use that. There's my, my teal. Smooth that all out. And, um, and then Jeff's getting his jade. That's going to be so pretty, babe. Let's go wrap it ourselves. Yeah, and she said get all the air bubbles out with this tool. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to sit you down so I can get my hands dirty. So if you do see any bubbles, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of make little holes, kind of like this over it. And that's going to kind of release that air. And then okay. it's smooth back over it, okay? Gotcha. Thank you. Can you check me? Yes. I will. Adam. 
Nope, that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this has got a lot of bubbles in it. Dove's doing a lovely job over here. Getting out all his air bubbles. He's got mine out. This, this is so soothing. Oh, honey, you look so handsome. You look like you're gonna, <laughs> gonna make something in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. That's Jolie. She's sweet. And we've got a decoration station over there that's got textures and stamps and all kinds of things. So if you want to okay. go ahead and start looking at those things. Let's see what we've got over here. Okay, got letters, rollers, dry and flies. Oh, it says happily ever after. Oh, I love that. There's some things to make texture on it. Let's see. H-I-J. It's labeled by the letter it is. J. There's A. Oh. N. And then there's cutout kind of like this. I think I like the ones I got. And then there's all kinds of stuff down here. Holy moly. I think I'm going to freehand some stuff and do Disney Christmas stuff. Owls. There's stuff for textures. This is pretty cool to make a texture on yours. I might try that. Oh, and here's some designs. This is pretty. Mm hmm, I kind of like that. Ooh, kind of like this too. Fun. So many designs, y'all. So many designs. Lots of choices. So when you come in, they have um, they have aprons right here. You can grab one, or they'll get them for you. And then restrooms are right here. And then going through this way, everybody's at their pottery wheels. So cool. <gasps> That's so fun. They're, they're imitating ghosts right now. <laughs> so, by the way, you can also bring your own drinks. Uh, it's called a sip and smash that we're doing. So, you can bring your alcoholic beverage if you want, whatever you want. Jeff and I brought waters. We're not drinking. So, uh, brought our pretty little mugs. And there are waters. Jeff's over there checking out what to get at the decoration station. If it's anything like me, he's going to take forever because I didn't know what I wanted. I think maybe the more simple one is what I'm going to go with. And my name. But I want like a hidden Mickey in here, so I'm going to have to make some of these like into a hidden Mickey. What are you thinking about over here? <gasps> Babe, that would be so cool. necessarily have to mean anything to anybody yeah. else. You know? Exactly, it's yours. It's to me. Also, honey, they have those little tools that you can hand draw stuff on it. You can hand carve stuff on it, and you're really good at that, so you might want to do some stuff on your own. I don't know why I like it. It doesn't matter. That's the part that's the part that is you, your art. Enjoy it. So far, we are okay. loving this. I'm going to make sure to link this for you guys in the description because if you're anywhere in the Houston area, you need to come check this out. Especially since there's two places. And if you just raise this this is just one of two, you need to come check it out. Isn't that cool to put texture on it? Be <laughs> creative. <laughs> I saw that. I'm just not sure what it mouthed. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an outline. Okay. So you know where your texture needs to go. You can obviously go outside of that. Okay. And if you're using these for your decoration, I'm going to go get some saran wrap between those and the clay. It's going to make it easier for it to pull up. Okay. This, we can yes. just roll on with the roll on. Okay. Oh. So this is all by hand. None of this goes on a wheel. No, you're all, we're all oh, doing hand building. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back and do you a wheel. Come back and do the wheel because that'll be fun too. And with your surprise clay. Oh. Which may have yeah. leftovers from what we're doing here. Yeah. Yeah. So you're doing a medium bowl. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring you over here to see what options we have. <laughs> oh wow. So it's definitely gonna be the, round. Yeah. Of sorts. Ooh. Mm, I might want bigger than that, Ben. Yeah, I was going to say, I want something big enough for... This might be enough. Right now, we're working on 
which shape I want, and um, getting the right size and depth and fold because I want a ramen bowl. That's what's going to go in it the most. And chips and salad and stuff. Yeah. Oh, like a breeze. <laughs> there we go. We're talking. You don't have to curve the edges, you know, when you make it, you can just leave them more upright. Okay. If you want them more I might. I might. I think I like that shape. That's perfect. Okay. I'm being difficult, y'all. Right, are you putting those <laughs> Yeah, I'm waiting for this one. So they found me a, a bowl that, that is perfect. That's what I want. Love it. Should I put one on yeah. top of the other and just roll it, roll it, roll it? Yeah, I think so. All right, I have to do two because I need so much stuff to make my bowl. Jeff is far less difficult than I am. Look at you. You look a pro, baby. So he put down his stuff and then he used that little roller to roll it in. Now he's going to put some texture in it. That's cool. I can't wait to see how these look in a couple weeks when we come back. Neat. So we're going to come back another day and do this and show you guys how this works because this is a whole different separate thing and you have to sign up for this so this is different so we'll come back another day and do this part too oh wow he's putting letters in it so they had to go get me a, a double slab of clay because i want a deep bowl and then she had to re-roll it together so i have enough um i have enough clay i, I pay in the trash <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's gonna be done way before me. So I'll get him to video me because he's gonna be lay down and I'm gonna still be sitting here making a poll that I'm the new love. They're very helpful and very accommodating, by the way. They're so nice. They're so nice. That's gonna be so cool. I love it. You wanna press in that a little harder? But if you don't, you can do it. Oh, nice, babe. That is terrific. And then he put the year. Jeff is perfecting everything. My giant slab of clay. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? You think I'm being difficult? Look at mine compared to Jeff's. <laughs> One hand under, and then you're going to flip it over on top of this. Ooh. And now we carefully take this and just kind of stroke it down this way so that we get it down around. Both sides and the bottom, but don't get it Yeah, smooth it. <laughs> That's you? <laughs> I was like, what is that? Got a mouse in your pocket? <laughs> oh, you're strong. Because I need 14,000 pounds of paper. Look at her filming and she's a jack of all trades. You put your thumb in it? It may kill now. <laughs> it's getting there. The problem is these little ruffles. Just like, like when you're wrapping a present. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That you understand. You're a professional oh. present wrapper. She really is. <laughs> and you're just going to drag it the whole way down like that. Perfect. Okay. Can you see this long triangle? Thing, yeah. Which has a geometric name, which is escaping me right now. We're going to put that in there. That's going to be your slip later. I see. Okay. Flipping this over this way. All right. Go into the same spot that you just did that. Okay. Beautiful. Excellent. Come up. A little deeper. Okay. That way it doesn't get too thick or thin. What we're doing is we're making nibs that are going to kind of act like Velcro. Yeah. So when we wrap it together, they're going to interlock like this. Zipper, but we're going to put some slip in between. 
So this mud is going to be kind of the consistency of yogurt. <laughs> okay? All right. Somewhere between peanut butter and heavy cream. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll get him with the food. <laughs> okay, right back. Okay. Man, the way to a man's stomach. The way to a man's stomach? <laughs> you mean way, made a way to a man's heart? Whatever. Whatever, Russ, whatever. <laughs> Getting there. He's got a couple of little lumps to feel. Looks like you're making the guy that plays the keyboards in Star Wars. There's <laughs> <laughs> two there's his trunk. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know, the it's elephant looking guy. I'm having to remove a little bit of clay here. There's a, it's a lot. There we go. Max Rebo. That's what his name is? Max Rebo, yeah. We're having ramen tonight, so. Is that what you want? Yeah, let's go to that, let's let's go to that ramen spot. Okay. Do you want to eat it there or can you go? Probably eat it there. Can you watch a movie? Movie. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Where's she living? That's right. Just a city boy. Want me to right here in Houston. My name's Steve Perry. How y'all doing tonight? Spend a wine and cheap on you. Some rules. Some just want a cup of juice. Squeaker, squeaker, squeaker. Nice. Getting there? That's cool. Yeah. I love it. Big blue block. It's kind of like fondant, you know? Yeah. A thick fondant. Thick fondant. I see that. It would be a real good cake right there. Right? It might get a little bit of wood in it, but we don't want to do it. Yeah. Just just made it. It. I just made it. Just made it. So we're just gonna add it in there. It's gonna be your glue or your mortar. <laughs> you do that with melted chocolate too. Okay. Big moment. So we're going to take this edge that's right here that's kind of fat, and we're going to kind of land it up somewhere in the middle here, and then we're going to overlap, pinch it together, and the inside you're going to pull this way so you don't see the seam, blend it in, and the outside you're going to pull this way so you don't see the seam. And then the inside's going to come like this, but you want to make sure you pinched it together first the whole way down. For me. Be attitude. Thank you. I'm ready to design you, I think. I'm gonna cut the bottom off this, or that'll be the top. This is the bottom. I'm gonna put my design on. So, back to our score. We are what, two, three times wide. So, we're gonna go the whole way around there, and you're gonna come around here as well. And then the same. You wanna do the cross hatching thing, and you wanna put the slip in between. Then we'll flip it back over top, tap it down the whole way around. Oh my gosh, look at our pants! <laughs> I love it. Those yeah, are precious. Me, yeah, there was a ramen lady. I was like, okay, I got to show my face because I'm the ramen lady too. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm T. Hi, T. Hi, T. Nice, to nice to meet you. Okay. Ramen ladies. Ramen ladies. <laughs> okay, so what I did was put this over it, rolled it. So I put that over, rolled it in. <laughs> Don't be doing that. <laughs> oh no, I will be because like when I do my mice curls are like all jagged. These are like so natural. So I try. It's hard on a, a, a surface. Yeah. 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 Some of your best years, freehand. Yeah, they're not easy. Uh, I don't think they will seem my best, but yeah. As long as they so, semi look um, like it. Oh, it's upside down though. <laughs> it's a hidden I've got, to, I've got to put one on this side that's correct for the, um, the right side of then. Smoothing out the edges. Because this will be kind of like glass and you'll cut your lip if you're not careful. So. There we go. It's good. Satisfied? I think it's good. All right. I got to smooth these up, but I think when we flip it, 
All right, guys. I would, I would probably have to come back and do some cleaning on that for you so that we got it nice and good. But That's it's fine. Hidden Mickey number one and Hidden Mickey number two because this will be right side up and the other one will be upside down. <laughs> oh, is your staff? I love that. That's so cool. I love those. And now we're going to go eat some because we've been talking about it. Yes, that's what she suggested. Jelly was like, you got to go there. So I'm going. <laughs> we'll be back to do this part too. It's like, yo. Thank you guys so much. So that was our time at Smash Clay Studio. We had a blast. Such a good date night. You guys should try it. Bring your kids. It's so much fun. Can't wait to see our stuff fired and ready to go in a couple of weeks. Everybody here was amazing and so nice and so knowledgeable. So you guys come check it out. And remember, Sutton Stops makes the best adventures. <laughs>